Home prices. That's our topic for today's Backstage Pass. Well, hey friends, I hope you're having a great day so far today. Stocks are up and bonds are down so far this morning. Mortgage bonds are down about 17 basis points at the time of recording. The 10 year yield is up about two basis points and trading at 3.72%. The national average for conventional 30 year fixed rate mortgage, that ended the day yesterday at about 6.62%. Today we're expecting that to trade about the same or be about the same, maybe inching a little bit higher based on what's going on in the bond market today, but somewhere between that 6.60 and 6.65%. That's what we're expecting. Now today is all about home prices. We've got data from the FHFA and Case Shiller, their home price indexes. And the biggest difference between Case Shiller and FHFA is that FHFA, that report does not include jumbo or cash buyers. It's only single family homes with conforming loan limits. So that's the biggest difference between the two. So I wanted to lay that out for you as we dive into this data. So let's take a look at the data. The National Case Shiller Home Price Index, it's considered the gold standard for appreciation. Well, that showed home prices fell 1% in September, but they're still increasing, still up 10% year over year. Now that is a decline from the previous reading of 13% in August. Home prices are now down 2.5% from that peak earlier in the year. Now just a note, this is a far cry from a housing crash of 20 to 30%. Now that said, we do anticipate additional softening in this just as the full impact of peak rates, they weren't fully realized in September. Rates actually peaked there in October. So we do expect a little bit of softening still on this. Now the 10 city and the 20 city reports, they were down 1.4% and 1.5% respectively. What that means is that a lot of the losses were concentrated in the bigger cities that were somewhat overheated. That includes Seattle, Denver, San Diego, San Francisco, LA. Now over to the FHFA report that showed that prices rose one tenth of a percent in September. They're up 11% year over year and based on this you can kind of interpolate that the decline in case shiller is really coming from those higher priced homes where there is less demand. Now that's all the news that we have for today. Again today was all about housing and these home price indexes. Tomorrow we are going to get an ADP jobs report. We're going to get a GDP quarter three preliminary report and we are going to get um, pending home sales. So all that data is coming out tomorrow. We will bring that to you as it comes. But until then, remember, stay positive. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.